What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Cisco. All right, guys. Today's Saturday. It's about to be two o'clock. I'm about to head over there with uh with Chris. So we're gonna be continuing on the rap. Um, and yeah, let's let's see what's going on. It's been a couple of weeks since I I've been out there because been busy. I'm gonna go over there with him, meet up, and uh, see how much we can get done today. Hopefully, we will get at least <clears throat> a little bit more than we did last time. Cause uh, like I said, uh, I gotta trying to get it done for sure. Uh, you know, as fast as I can. Not to rush it, but I know I just want to get it done because I got a lot of stuff that I'm still uh, planning to do. Planning on getting the interior done. I already contact somebody. I don't know if I'm going to be taking the truck, the whole, the truck with me, or I'll probably just take the seats and uh, in the door pan, get the seats custom. And, but I already got a call from a guy. I he's in Chicago, so he's like, like an hour, almost two hours away from here. So I haven't met him in person but i'm already i already talked to him through the phone he already gave me a i sent a picture of the truck so he told me just uh wait for him like a week or two so um he's a little book right now so once he's done and he's gonna give me a car and then i could take the truck or probably hopefully by then i'll get the truck done if not which i don't think so but if not i'm just gonna uh, just probably take the seats and the and the door panels for now until the truck comes out and then when the truck comes out i could take it to get the rest done but yeah guys uh i just arrived here uh round shot performance with chris i'm gonna uh, get down and uh see what's up see what's going on all right guys well thank you guys i'll see you guys in a bit yep what's up man you're like who is that huh? you're like who is that I I how are you good it's a nice day today yeah, really nice day out today how about you how you been staying busy, busy. Oh, hold on let me get my back hold on before i forget I yeah 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 that's fine yep yep i don't i i couldn't remember either i thought you said two but i was like ah what's up you guys so i arrive at uh chris's shop chris over there he's doing some work over there for now so we're gonna start wrapping this um this side of the truck the same thing we did over there we're gonna do it over here and see if we could get the top of the roof too right chris yeah yeah. Roof, yeah we get we got time and then after that then probably it's gonna be on me then <laughs> but we're gonna start right now we're gonna get ready i think we gotta clean it up Make sure it looks good, and yeah, we'll go from there, and I'm going to put my camera ready, and we'll start. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Here we close. Last time, I thought it was a, a 10. <laughs> that was way off. When do you guys go back to work for concrete? April. April? Mm-hmm. What if it's nicer on sooner? Uh, no, we gotta wait till April. Or... No, because um, I, I think you can't park in outside the streets for like, you know, the dump trucks till oh. April. Sometime in April, something like that. Like the permits and stuff like that. So that's why Ryan works till April. I mean, unless we could do, we got a little small job, you know? Mm -hmm. But usually just wait till April. April 15, around there. Magic time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking, I, I think I'm gonna have to put this back too. Cause it's got like these sensors here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to put them. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I can't wait to get it out on the streets, man. Get the. It'll be cool to see it outside. Yeah. 
Because I know once the sun hits it, the, the color is going to stand out more, you know? Yeah. Did you figure out what you're doing for a hood yet? Oh, no. I'm probably going to... I haven't even think about that, Chris. But I, I'm not trying to look for one. If not, we'll just wrap that one. And then if I get another one, then I just, I probably could that just do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, there you go. Let me get you right a, your squeegee. You're on your way. We need the heat, the heat gun, right? Yeah, I'll get that. We start here, right? On yep, so we're gonna do the Boop. top half first. So we'll do these four magnets here and we'll go up with it. There's that. And you're off on your own. Yes. I'm gonna go to lunch. Okay. Bring me something back. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm gonna get rid of this piece right here that we don't need. Remember, the less you have to work with, the better it is. Yeah. Okay, so let's flop that down. We'll uh, peel it and flop it down. handle on it kind of get it stretched up you know don't pull too hard just want to get rid of the wrinkles try and get that to spread out and then just worry about that there you go perfect so you worry about that center spot like literally right here don't worry even worry okay. about that so you get that okay. and then you can take this and get it kind of stretched over this way and we don't need to yet. and then here a little bit too right Get that so remember the, the glass out. Yeah. Let's reset this. Can I put it? No, huh? uh, let's just get rid of those. Let's see here. I mean, the, the goal is just to get everything to lay as flat as possible yeah. right now at this point so that we have when we go down, we got time to work on perfect it. Perfect position, yeah. yeah. Like this, we can kind of fix it as we go. But if I keep doing that and pulling it down without this being locked down, it's mm -hmm. just going to keep pulling it. So we're just going to leave this like this. We'll come back and we'll fix this after okay. we go down. We got to take these all right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly peel this back. So we do about half of it. This goal is half of the vine. Okay, like that. And then just going to let it rain. And then remember, get that set so you get that, that edge to work with okay. right there. So go like this. And just get that edge so you have a nice starting point. Mm -hmm. And then you go. Yep, and then start working it. Remember, working the air out. Yep. How about this wrinkle right here? Don't worry about that, that'll go away. So just keep going? Yeah, just pick up. Just keep, you know, start in the center, give yourself a line, and just keep working out. And... Spreading. So I can see there's a lot of air left here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you gotta put just a little bit more pressure. Remember you're slicing into the, so there you go. So you keep your squeegee on an angle like that. Yep. And just keep pushing it out to the edge. Like right here, just get that so it's flat. So that's locked down. So you have this complete line right okay. here that is down. Now you okay. can keep working from the center out. Yep. So you see there's quite a bit of air in there. So make sure that... See that? Yeah, I see. So, yeah. so you gotta give it a little bit more pressure. Okay. I just didn't know how pressure yep. much I gotta put in. And we still have the clear coat on here right now so you're not scratching anything. Yeah. But remember how I showed you the scratches come out anyways? Yep, yep. Like this spot right here. You can't leave it. If you come back to it, you're gonna you're gonna wrinkle right there. So you're gonna kinda lift it back just a little bit and then just kinda make sure you get 
I'm almost pushing it back up to give yourself another, see how it's reset mm -hmm, now? It's mm -hmm, all good. Mm -hmm. so. Got it. So right here, the best thing to do, because of the indent of the handle, mm -hmm. is get it to lay. Now you just want to make sure that you get this edge so that, see that? Like this will oh, all go right. So you get the edge, now take your speech and just kind of work it down and out. It. What's left right now is in the clear coat, let that cool down. And remember, because what this wants to do is you're coming down, it wants to pinch into mm -hmm. the center. So you got to keep cutting into it and pushing it out. So again, remember, I'm only using about this much of my mm -hmm. squeegee on the, on the air. Okay. Okay. So that's going to keep working it. See it. Yeah. So if you give yourself an imaginary line going this way and this way, work from the center over to that way, work from the center over to that way, and give yourself a good line, center over, you know, okay. just keep going. From the center, go to the up. Okay. So it's laying actually really nice right now if I'm looking at it, so. So start from the center. You don't even need to really pull it hard, just give it just a little bit like you are. Yeah. Gotta cool down. When you did your headliner, did you use heat for that? No. Oh. I'll swap you out for that. Oh, okay. Is it better? Burn you? Oh, okay. Pull it off of this. Thank you. So is your wife excited about seeing this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, she's excited. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said in my control before you got here, doing wraps at the core is as simple. Putting stickers onto a car. It's all the uh, you know wrap at the corner. Yeah. How do you stretch here and where do you stretch this? And that's where the, the trouble comes up. Yeah. Stretch it down. See how you kind of eliminate that. Now come with those, but just don't go super hard. Make sure you go go lightly, make sure you're gonna lay okay, and then go at them hard. Okay. This is short here though. It did twist, look at that. Alright, so what we do here. stretch it. Otherwise we're going to do a new piece. So, yeah. so you heat it and we're stretch it? heat a good chunk of it so we don't see stretch lines. Mm -hmm. like we only need to get a, 
probably a quarter inch out of it. I think that's why, because when it moved, remember? Yeah, yeah. sliding all over on us. Yeah. And that's what it was. Oh, it's right there. Put it right here. Okay. So I trim. So I would trim, trim this line. Okay. And then follow into here, and then get right to here and come up. Don't push hard because you have your your rubber trim here. Yeah. So follow the curves. Try not to be sloppy. Oh, there's another one. This gets covered by trim, so it doesn't matter, but still, just always try it. You're gonna have it on after it's off. Yeah. And then here, we, yeah, and this one we cut here, right, Chris? Or so this we have the to rubber. cut onto the rubber a little bit, so, so it's this way, right? Yeah, so we're gonna tuck this behind the rubber, so you gotta give a nice, nice straight line, not pushing too hard here. I'm using my finger as a guide, mm -hmm. and just kind of come up along here. Okay. Because we got to be careful that we cover this here. Oh, okay, so okay. make sure if you're going to come all the way down, you stay short of okay. that right there. So I start right there. Leave enough extra. Last thing you want is some burgundy showing. Yeah, right. So there's a little bit, so a little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we don't see that, right? Well, we're gonna probably see that like so ideally what you want to do is get this behind the rubber like up here there's plenty here as we can kind of pull this back we're gonna put a piece of blue in there mm -hmm. to cover that but trimming is pretty crucial you always want to leave extra you can always trim more away if you need to in there okay not the end of the world yep okay so i have that trimmed do you want to do the door handle do you remember how yeah. to do that Just like this now. so you want to give it some heat yep mm. and then you can start you can start here and just kind of get this mm -hmm. in place give it a little bit of heat and then just start doing half moons to okay. get it to push over this way but that's right there was uh there's holes behind there too so you'll be good I still cut shit short like this once in a while, then I have to only do it. Yeah. But you can always take more away. Was that look, Christian? Good? Yeah, it's good. Did you figure out what to do with the handles yet? What? Oh, uh, you know what? Just. <sighs> I mean, do you think it's gonna be a lot of work to it? If not, I could just do chrome. Or well, no, we can. I, we can wrap the ones you have. I just we were talking about a couple of different things, so I didn't know if you decided what you're gonna do. But yeah, we can wrap the ones you have. Right, so that gets covered by the mirror. So fine. Yeah, we just wrap them. Okay. All right, let's finish out this door. So let's open it up. You want to work this 
Okay. So remember, you can heat, heat it, it up and, and then pull burn. it around. Nope. Heat it, pull it around. Heat it, pull it around. Got it. So let me Okay, let me get away. Do nothing here, boy. Should I have it ready? You gotta start wearing shirts with pockets in them. I know. You gotta give me one for hoops. You need a hoopster one? Yep. I'll go grab you one. So, do you remember the procedure, what we did here? So, remember we worked. On this line first. Oh yeah, the line. Yep, yep. we got to start we, we from got, here. We kind of got this started uh -huh. right here, and I think that's all we did going like this, this way is this we'll, flat spot. Yep. Because then we have to stretch this back. So we'll get this locked down, and then we'll come forward, and we'll heat this, and we'll get this pulled. Yep. Yeah, because okay. we got to get this line right. Yep. We just got to get this right here, like yep. literally just this area right mm -hmm. here. And then yep. nothing back there yet, because we'll have to stretch that on. Yep. So let's get this pulled off, and you can do that. You're gonna pull that. Okay. So we're going to try and get that as, you know, glass out as possible. So get that nice high side right there. You don't need to go as close. You just get that right there. You can get the all the way down right there. Yep. And that's really all we need for right now. And then we we'll go this way. This way. And we're going to do this a little bit of a. Remember, we're going to heat this. Yeah, we stretch it. And stretch it so we can stretch it around this corner. So grab the heat gun. And then just heat this whole, whole area. And then higher low. Keep it on. There you go. Side. Mm -hmm. So just right here where you see it's nice and smooth, bring your squeegee straight back. Just bring it straight back all the way, get that line down. Then you can work, you know, by, by pulling it down. You can work, yep. So work that whole thing down. So remember starting on this line and just work down. Exactly. So we can either work this right now, or yeah, let's work. We'll leave that. We'll work this right now. Okay. So, I think I did this last time, so you're gonna do it this time. Okay. Um, before we go that way, let's heat this and get this stretched up a little bit so we can smooth it out. So this and down. Okay. So then we can get it back in a position right here. So take your squeegee, go straight up right there. Yep, get it up. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Okay, that's good. There. So what that does is it'll, so it's not pulling that okay. way for back here anymore. So now we're gonna heat this triangle here. That, that should lay in there. So with this, you're gonna be very gentle and just slowly come over the edge. Start in the corner, start right here. Just come over the edge. Yep, so then just right here, same thing. Just a little bit at a time, like a quarter inch, half inch at a time. We're gonna relief it for that. So mm -hmm. up here. Okay, let's get this pulled down. Okay, so let's heat this. That should be good. And then come down the high side right here.
now what we can do here, let's heat this whole piece, stick it down, and then you'll be able to okay. kind of work back this way. Okay. Give it a little stretch there. See how smooth it's getting now? Yeah. So this, you can start right here. You can work that up and okay. then do the same thing here. So, yep, just like that. Good job. Hey. Mm -hmm. Sir. Cisco the Rapper. Yeah, right. He changed his channel name. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do it or should I? Which one? So remember, we heat this area and we kind of pull it a little bit and then let it kind of suck back into it. I here. can try to do it okay. if you want to heat it. There you hold it. Give it a pull. So remember that'll suck back. That was a good pull. Mm -hmm. That was a good job. So then just kind of get this down and around. Okay. You can see there's still air in there. Much faster than the last time when we did it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and look at you did that you go, yourself, man. man. No, you helped me too though. Not much. What? Really? Not much. It's feeling good. Enough. This was all you. This was my goal. Today, right? <laughs> to have you do the so, this. Yep. I felt much assistance from you. I think what we did on the other side is we kind of got the lower stuff trimmed out and done and then we dropped the truck down and then did this. Then we did this, yeah, because it, yeah, yeah. it was so, it's so yeah. high so we can just leave all this for right now. Okay, so we just do the bottom part, right? So we can trim this line. Got my, right here. And then I want, we, I got to get so into the door, right? Yeah, so on the door side. <clears throat> um, so we want to start. So on the door side here. Come down and when you get to like this area here, mm -hmm. just go off that way. Okay, so go this way. Don't come down this way, just kind of go off that way. Then we okay. have enough material down here to cover down okay. and around. Okay, sounds good. So you want to be really precise on this cut on the door side. So, so stay on this really, edge, right? Because it's, it's tight right here. Normally mm -hmm. we just start right here. I would start like right here and come up because okay. you can see the different the, the differentiation in it. So, all right. When you start doing it, use your, use your fingers okay. as guides. So see? So it's just it gives you more okay, support when you. you're doing it. Gotcha. It's smooth now. Mm -hmm. There you go. <clears throat> Get that piece out of there. This one? Yeah, did you cut that all the way off? Oh no. Yeah, cut it all the way off and then tear that piece off that's on the door. On the door. Yeah, All right, you guys, so we just got doing the door and the uh, other panel here. Oh, we gotta still got to get this, no, Chris? Oh, yeah, open up the door. And get yeah. That. Yeah. And, stream, and then we're going to work our, on the roof now. But Chris said I did good, so that's good. As long as he said I did good. He was yelling at me, though, there. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys. You did it. Chris is Chris is good. It's a good trainer. Chris is a good trainer. Show you right. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta patch it. Yeah, it looks good. Ideally, you don't want to patch it, but sometimes you have to. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So, but yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna work on stuff on the roof now, but the doors are done. And this fender on this side. Yeah, I did that one. Yeah, that's right. So it's coming along, guys. Between the window, between the glass, okay. and the paint. Really good. Watch it. Yep, go ahead. You're good. Same with this front. 
What's that for, Chris? We're going to do an infill piece on this. Oh, Just, okay. Uh, so rather than trying to stretch <coughs> the okay. piece in, okay. we're going to fill both of these little end pieces in here. Okay. I didn't know that we were going to... So I know your pieces are going to go back in here. We're just going to make this blue. I don't even know. Because remember I was missing oh, one? That's right, you're missing one of these. So I'll probably just leave it like that. Oh, if, if, I, if I could find one then... Give it some good stretch to get it to do that and go around that corner. sure that you have enough to cover the front point and we have to go all the way around the back so we need the bulk of the material in the back and just enough to cover the front point make sure it's over your edge it's good okay, and then just kind of lay it for right now make sure we have everything covered there's enough back there enough there well yep. okay and then what you gotta do um i don't think we're gonna need any heat whatsoever on this I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna make it so it's right in this area mm -hmm. I want it to be glass. Okay. I don't want to have any wrinkles in that area. Then after I do that, I'm gonna get mine down, and then you're gonna do that to yourself. Okay. Okay. So I'm pulling right now. I'm pulling this way. Okay. Stretching that way. Yep. Stretching forward and out. You see that? So now yep. I'm gonna go and hit that. You can, you can do this to your side now. Don't fall off the ladder, but get a nice, good, firm pull. Good. I would pull with center a little bit. There you go. See how that release on that? Yeah. And then start working straight towards you. I would pull, I would drag your squeegee this, this time. So drag, yeah, I would do that. Make sure you're overlapping your lines because I can see there's even air between. Just a big air gap right there, right in the center of your chest. Yep. So overlap, like half halfway overlapping. Work it up to this this point. Okay. Take it up to that. Are you okay. we, we don't want to get these down yet. We're just okay. gonna kind of leave this all the way. We'll we'll get this and then we'll heat the corners. Okay. So what we want to do right now is get this into this groove. So well, you know what? This is pretty shallow. We can probably push this in. Let's uh, let's get the plastic off. We'll work on one side at a time now. I'll okay. There. Here, let's grab this. Let me to move. Okay, so we just 
want to make sure that we have a nice line mm -hmm. on the edge of this. So we want to leave, we don't want to lock this down because we want to be able to push the air out of this mm -hmm. exit and then we'll put this down. So we want to make sure we leave that open. Yep, you want a nice edge here too. Okay, so that's all we need right now. So we're going to push this air out. We're going to heat it mm -hmm. and then just slowly, like the door handle, we're going to start working it and pushing it back. So. It doesn't need much heat. Okay. And then just start right here. And just start working the outside, then work the inside. Just pushing it back. Now make sure it stays open. It needs a little bit more heat. And you also gotta make sure that you're, so you gotta keep doing this on the outside so that it doesn't oh, start okay. to wrinkle. So you gotta kinda come along you. here and then come through the center. It needs some more heat right now. Okay. Okay. Same thing, so work along the side and then come up the center. Work along the side, come up the center. Grab the heater. That side edge. Yep, the side edge and then that's center. I like that what you do here. Hmm? I like that. You start working mm -hmm. in the middle. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Alright, let's do sense. the front. So we have to start in the center. So I'm gonna go back to the other side. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> start in the center. So we want to get this up to the edge. I'm not really putting much pressure on pulling it, I'm just getting it up to the edge to right about here. What you got going on there? Yeah. I got it tucked in you want to make sure that it's nice and solid because there's that rubber lip mm -hmm. make sure it's nice and solid to that rubber lip edge <clears throat> so that's where we're going to be trimming it this is like the worst to trim in a vehicle yeah yep thing you can do is expose some of the color. No, okay. Let's see where my line is. Yeah, I see. It. And I'm gonna actually just I'm gonna leave that on top of the rubber. Okay. So sometimes you can get it tucked in behind it, but this feels really tight on your windshield, so so we're just gonna leave that overlap. Feeling up the trim in that? Yeah, I try. Just stay about halfway onto that rubber. Just gonna run into that so I'm not coming in so much at it. <clears throat> Use it as a guide.
Yeah, you think you should just cut that. I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to cut this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mess it up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
us. That would be awesome. Yeah, guys, go. Please go subscribe, to... subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, go subscribe to the channel. And he's gonna have more stuff coming, guys. I'm not gonna say it here in the video, but he already told me what he's planning to do. So you guys stay tuned because he's gonna. He... He does have a lot of stuff that he can show you guys for content, but I already talked to him about it, right, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I got yelled at. <laughs> so, but yeah, guys, I'll uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna wrap this video up, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, Chris. Peace. Peace. Love.